signed for a pretty big team. He was obviously going to play a big part for the Gunners this season. We just want to see him uh, you know, ease his way into it. Obviously, we're just panning on Tim there with his, uh, number 12. In the toss in the middle of the park with the two captains. The Arsenal skipper this evening is Jack Hill in this competition. Blackburn have won three out of their last three. And not only have they managed to win uh, those games, they've managed to score nine goals. When I was playing, he was either a right winger or a right back or a left back. But now, um, it's, they're like a moving feast. They can play in any different position. We're underway here at Ewood Park and Blackburn Club. player going back to the old-fashioned black, all black boots. <laughs> Here's a nice bit of control on that right-hand side. Ismail Caviar looking to get to the byline. He's just overrun that. Unlucky, the intention was right. He was looking to commit defenders. The area. Here comes Ethan Wanieri. Henry Francis to the right-hand side for Cavia. Another heavy touch from Cavia. Not the first this evening from the young man. Uh, Real Waters as well, but also refreshing is it go 1-11. to 11. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Timber spoiled it with the 12, but <laughs> yeah, we nearly got there. Here is Cavia. He's got away from his man. Cuts it back to Wanieri. And that's deflected wide. It's the first alive in the penalty area, but the work down the right-hand side was brilliant to create. Didn't quite get the first one, it got a deflection for us right for a corner, which we took to take the short one. Whipped into the penalty area, and it's attacked at the near post. Oh, that's played forward brilliantly through the lines to Jurian Timber, who's inside the Blackburn area, and gets the shot off, and what a goal that is from Jurian Timber. What a return to competitive football for the Dutchman. It's a return to action that's been 254 days in the making. And what a way to mark the occasion. Jurian Timber with a stunning... It was a brilliant play initially from Josh Nichols. It was a great and incisive ball into Jurian Timber on the edge of the 18-yard box. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. High-quality goal. And welcome back, Jurian Timber. Never mind bringing him back at left-back, Perry. Stick him up front with him instead. Cozy Dubery once more. Nice footwork. One airy in towards the far post. Henry Francis is arriving, saved from the goalkeeper and struck back towards goal by Cavia. A good stop in the end from Felix Goddard. One airy pinches it back though for Arsenal. Here's Timber in a similar position to the one from which he scored. Henry Francis looks to keep it alive, but he's committed a foul. Henry Francis out to the right. Here's Ismail Cavia into Butler. Oyadeji makes his way into the box and then turns back. Here's Lewis Skelly. He was looking for the run of, guess who, Jurian Timber, who had... Jack Henry Francis is a very energetic box-to-box -box midfield player. He's been at the club since he joined from Fulham at the age of 12. Here's Kozia Dubry in the box, chips it in towards the far post. Here is Jack Henry Francis. Can he make room for the shot? He gets the shot off left footed, comfortable save in the end from Felix Goddard down to his right. Yes, really searchable, initially from Aidan Heaven. Arch, 10 goals in 11 Premier League, two games this season for him. It's clear that he's ready to go up to the next level. He's had some opportunities, featured of Corey, whips it in. It's a deep corner. It's come off a Blackburn defender, but there was a foul committed by Walters. Paul, it's into Butler Oyadeji. Here's Julian Timberland, change of direction, gets another shot off and... Goes close to adding in a second. It did take a deflection on its way, but Jurian Timber's got his shooting boots on this evening, Perry. I don't know if it's me, but he looks like he's quite enjoying himself, doesn't he, this evening? He obviously, he's been a lot of time. Into was that near post this time. The defensive header away. Back uh, looking to break, but it was well cleaned up that. An unused substitute for Mikel Arteta's side. There is Jurian Timber. Works it out to the right for Cavia. Delivery into the box, right-footed, it goes past everybody. As you do, we will try and keep this alive, but Maneri's cross from deep in towards the far post. Cavia couldn't divert his effort on target. And the flag's gone up in the end anyway. So I had it. Fantastic, but if not, if I was him, I'd want to go and play. I'd want to go and play out on loan time. I know he's only 17 years of age. Finneran's effort blocked. Blackburn looking to keep it alive, and he's almost caught a Conquo out there. The Blackburn row was forward, a Conquo was scrambling back. As it comes. Box. Delivery into the box, heading over the bar. That wasn't far off from Blackburn Rovers' his big centre-half, Patrick Gamble. Well, you've got to make sure to the forward players as well. In the last few minutes, as Blackburn Rovers come forward, they've worked it out to the left-hand side, left-footed strike. And that wasn't far away. Conquo diving and making sure, but... 
That wasn't a bad effort at all. So one of them has to come away, just create that little bit of space where he can maybe have a little one-two. Henry Francis is ball in behind. Butler Oyadeji goes down in the box. And what is the decision? Has he pointed to the spot? I think he has. Yeah, to and be Blackburn fair. Blackburn wrote Cozy Adubri up against Felix Goddard. Sends him the wrong way and doubles Arsenal's lead on 35 minutes. It's a seventh goal in the Premier League 2 this season for Amario Kozia Dubry. Cool as you like, Perry. Well, I said that it could be Mikhail Saka's stunt double if he's ever decided to be a film star. It could actually be his penalty double as well because that was very Mikhail Saka like, very, very cool there from Kozia to his left hand side. Kozia Dubry just rolled it into an empty net to the right hand side. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was clever. It was, it was like um, a young player using experience where we're taught if you get yourself in front of the defense i have to say in this 38 minutes we've just come out to play and they've been a bit like rubbing head in headlights to say they've been in good format in, until this game yes yeah, serena on the left hand side for blackburn walks it into the forward line harrison woods effort and it's going to the back of the net blackburn rovers are right back in this game having doubled their lead just a few moments ago arsenal will be disappointed to have conceded so soon. Harrison with the chance, low down to his right hand side. But Mehmet Ali, obviously, the Arsenal on the 21 manager, he'll be taking any prisoners whatsoever. This young Arsenal on the 21 team, now this is 15 games they've played now, they've only kept one clean sheet. And I know it's difficult, we've said about changing personnel and changing formation. Working out to their left hand side. I'm going to see a delivery into the box. Might get one eventually instead. We're going to see a dribble into the box, and Jack Henry Francis had to come across and shut the door. And the Blackburn Rovers man, even his own head, he's thinking, right, I've got to, you know, test my fitness here. I've got to push myself, right, to limit. It'd been easy for him to sit in that left back position, you know, and just coast for the last ten minutes. Serena's cut back into Wood from the angle, and it's turned in. Blackburn Rovers have their equaliser, and it's Julia and Sango with the goal. Arsenal have thrown away a two-goal lead. If again, it's Harrison Wood who's causing the danger, make sure he's getting in at that near post. But again, it's just really slack defending from our point of view. You've got to make sure that you go and stop the cross, especially as you're just coming up to half time. So, Mehmet Ali will be absolutely, the Arsenal on the training manager will be delighted with the first half an hour. He won't be very pleased with the last 10 minutes because we've actually switched off completely defensively. You know, so going forward, look very headed down into the ground by. Heaven, who was forward there, and that good man before, and Sandu scored in stoppage time of this first half to make it Blackburn under 21s 2, Arsenal. Of really, because we dominated the earlier proceedings, quite rightly went 2 up with Weldy from Durin Timber and then a penalty from Koza Dubri. It was cruising, then we switched off. Harrison Wood managed to get 45 minutes under his belt, an absolute belter of a goal as well. And it's another step in his recovery as Ethan Waneri comes forward. Looks to work it into Kozia Dubri, trying to take that on the move. Manages to force a corner in the end. I have to say, it looked like it was getting away from working into midfield. Henry Francis, same midfield, the midfielder, I should say, ventured into the box there and then delivers to the far post. Comfortable catch that though for Felix Goddard, who watched it all the way. He's got Caviar to his left. Decides to try and thread it through towards Quesada Thorne instead. Managed to keep it on in the end. Blackburn defending deep at the minute. Butler Oyadeji looking to work the space for the shot, maybe. Left footed effort, just never really. Henry Francis. Cabia trying to engineer some space there and it's hooked away by Isaac Whitehall in the. Arsenal still looking for that winning goal. Butler Oyadeji getting involved in it. With you remember a physio? I can't remember a no, physio coming on. Not one. It's we haven't had any goals in this half to justify the three minutes. So I'm just not, substitutions. Yeah, just substitutions. But it's just really refreshing, you know. Like, you know, if there's been a, a tackle, players have got up, got on with it very, very quickly. There's been no similar. Is the full-time whistle here at Ewood Park? It's finished. Blackburn Rovers under 21s to Arsenal under 21s to. Disappointing evening.